This week on the Sirens Log. They're like just abandoned and now the marina owns them? Pretty much. 1745, Maine blows out during a controlled jive. Controlled should be in the king card. What happened to you? No? I don't mean to be this way. I'm just... Oh, boy! Oh, Florida girl. Stripped for what? Demolition. No! Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another week on the Sirens Log. We are here in one of our kind of home zones. Um, totally home zones. I actually used to live... Her childhood home. Yeah. Um, we're on St. George Island in the state park. Uh, I actually used to live in the state park when I was teeny tiny. And we're here in the campground and it's uh, really cold. And yeah. it's, <laughs> it's going to be in, I think, the low 40s, high 30s tonight. We are in Florida, but... I don't know. It, it does this. It does and this it's here. It's gonna get cold. We got a space heater. We're camping yeah. out on the bus. We have a really big, warm dog. So. And we just went close to home. We're gonna stay tonight. We got hamburger stuff. I got a fire going. Um, yeah. And tomorrow we're gonna go meet up with an old friend. There's a 51 foot Formosa on the hard, and it's been there for a while. So I don't know the condition of it, but we're gonna go check it out. So let's go make hamburgers. All right. The buns are moldy. No! Oh no! How'd that happen? I don't know. I just ate one last night. I bet it was moldy. Oh no! How bad? Look at that one. Well, that one is kind of tough. What do you mean? Well, it's kind of tough to make edible. Yeah. This one's got like little tiny spores like everywhere, like moving around. Man, that bread looks so good too. Well, this is a good one. No, it's you not. You want to inspect it and see. Oh. If you want a bun, use this one. I'll use this one. Okay. I don't know. These are just. No. No. I'll tell you what. Look, it's like it's all in there, it's like in every crevice. It's in every. Well, oh this one's not. Gosh. This one's fine. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you just need that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my grandma was. Okay. 
Burgers. Burgers. There. It's all ready. Just saw a friend, the assistant manager, hung out for a little bit, and it's so cold. <laughs> oh, I can barely breathe. I got an idea. What? I say we load the van. Okay. And then before we leave, we yeah. turn the heater on hell. Yeah. And let it just run for 10 minutes. Okay. And then drive out of here with the van warm until the heat catches up from the motor. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we're packing up then. Yeah? Yeah. Bentley, it's time to go. You want to go adventuring? Come on, let's go. This is like the coldest camping experience I've had in a long time, you guys. I'm sitting in front of a heater. I don't mean... I don't mean to be this way. I'm just... I'm a Florida girl. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to start the truck and get it warmed up. So, when we get ready to leave, it's ready to go. myself I'm Darren uh, born and raised on st. George Island here in Franklin County so we've known each other for a long time done a whole bunch of different adventures together um, I mostly work with the youth I run a scout troop I'm trying to become a diesel mechanic I do fiberglass paint work all of the boat stuff uh, I have my captain's license and I also make wine in my closet <laughs> <laughs> okay. and you work at dockside which is where the Formosa is so. correct so She's the boat shower today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. High dollar boat shower. <laughs> She's our, our broker. Still okay, bye. Bye. Hold up, Lee. <laughs> What's the coolest boat you ever worked on, and what was your position on the boat? All right. The coolest boat I ever worked on is a 175-foot schooner called Columbia. Um, I was on board for a year and a half full-time as a deckhand and then as second mate. Um, and then, yeah, recently we did the St. Bart's Bucket a couple years ago, which was amazing. And then I've also been running a 75-foot schooner in the Keys for the Florida Sea Base for the Scouts. And then that was probably the second coolest one, but sweet, nothing tops Columbia. Got to watch the America's Cup. We were in Bermuda for five weeks. We raced in Nova Scotia. We were all throughout the Caribbean. Did Antigua like every year for like three years there. That was absolutely incredible. Yeah, that was fun. So that's our Darren. Okay, bye. Bye. Here at the yard, if you see a boat with a yellow X on the back, that means that it is either up for scrap or up for grabs. Okay, so they're like just abandoned and now the marina owns them? Pretty much. Okay, cool. Uh, so what's back here? This is the 1946 wooden boat that has the hull glassed. Okay. But it actually got glassed when it came out of the shop, so it's cold molded. It's been worked on a few times. You can tell there's various stages of painting going on. So they did some fiberglass work, they did some prep work, pretty much ready to paint. As far as I know, it's got all the stuff, uh, wooden mast. The prop and the shaft are out of it right now. I'm pretty sure the shaft is around here. <laughs> Somewhere. And you said it has an engine? Yeah, um, from what Eric, I talked to Eric briefly because my Uncle Brooks and I came and looked at this one. 
And when I talked to Eric about it before, he said there was an engine for it. I love this boat. And look at the tiller. The tiller is just sexy. I'm sorry. It's designed by Frederick Geiger of Yacht Sales and Services, Philadelphia, built in 1946 by Palmer Scott and Company out of New Bedford, Massachusetts. Um, a little head in here, including some, uh, well, I can't pull them out of there, some embroidered towels. Oh. Yeah, and it's got a big pump handle like an old school manual. Um, Is there a V-berth up there? Or yeah. What's it look like? A little V-berth. All right. I mean, in my opinion, it's, it's in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a steal of a deal. Yeah. And all this wood, like the wood on all these cabinets, like these cabinets look great. I don't think there's anything wrong with most of that stuff. What year is it? 1946. And we don't know what it is exactly? Nope. Um, also, observe the lovely dovetailed oh, yeah. drawers. I got oh, as yeah. much headroom as I do in the 51 foot per minute. See? You just, we just have to cut off your legs just a little bit. Just cut my Shave feet them off. down. I'm a real pirate. Turn <laughs> around on peg legs. Yeah, so, and the engine space is back here. There's obviously no engine in it right now. There's no, as far as I know, there's no kind of afterbirth. No. I don't know if there's a lies back there. All right. Um, this one I really don't know much about other than it is wood, obviously. And uh, it's in the process of being stripped. Strips for what? For demolition. No! Yeah. What do they want for it? I mean, I'm pretty sure if you want it, you can have it. Really? Okay, let's look at it. Yeah. No. Hush! No. Hush! Look at it! I mean, the little palm tree sells it, first of all. Why can't we have this, for real? Because you can't see the engine from the outside. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can if you look through that crack right there, but... Oh, outside. wow. Outside. Significant rot happening here. Oh, no. Oh. I mean, Looks like a little it. iron keel, too. Like she needs, iron. like, full overhaul. Yeah, no way. No way in hell. I'm not, I we can, could make Anderson rebuild it. I can build things, but I can't do that. Yeah, you can. I mean, we'd have to pull it over there to... We'd have to get it to St. Andrews. We have a place like two blocks from the house so we could do it. Yeah, they're doing it together. We could put it right next to the Governor's Stone and just do it. And it would look like the Governor's Stone by the time we got done stripping it. Yeah, I know. Like four ribs are left in the keel and that's all of the Governor's Stone, the okay. original Governor's Stone remains. I was watching that man when it sank in St. Andrews. That was depressing. Did you watch it sink? No, but I saw it like shortly thereafter while it was soaked. <laughs> I'm almost glad I didn't see that. Oh, it's disturbing, man. Yeah, I feel like that's something that would like haunt me forever. Dang, she's so pretty. Golly. All right, what's next? As soon as we're done here. You want to peek in it? Yeah. There's a little tiny short rickety ladder. You could get the boat and like go halfway bankrupt and fix it. I would be happy to go bankrupt over you, sweet thing. I would do that for you. Well, you'd have to put it in the backyard. That's totally fine. I don't know how we get it there. Sit in my ribs. Once you've spent all of your money and that's all that's there is ribs yep. and a keel. And possibly, a, a, well, you used to have a weather vane, if that's any consolation. It's still got the setup on the, on the back there. Where's the mask? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened? What happened to you? Termites. That's not termites. That's like I cracked in half. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the story on it or where it came from. or It's got a sticker that says 16, 2016 on it. Oh, okay. And it doesn't have an X. Oh, sweet thing. I'm so sorry. Someone out there, please come get this boat. Don't let it die. Please come get it. So this is uh this has got a yellow X. What is this, Darren? Sequin, I think. Sequin from St. Joe. Oh, is it a it looks familiar. Okay, we have a Catalina. Is it a 28? I think it's a 27. 27. Alright. I guess I forgot how many cell phones were. This little fella. This is the 
one. That's a steel boat. You can weld it. Yeah. Is this a Bruce Roberts? What is this? Ah, uh, you know, that's what I was thinking too, but I, I don't, I don't want to see it. Hmm. Still has this prop. Yeah, this one's interesting. I'd love to it's super cute. see the sails up because it's definitely a schooner and it's got some crazy boom action going on. I wonder if it was gaff rigged at one point. Probably. Yeah, look at that. I'm not really sure what the setup at all is with the way the masts are, though. It's very cute. It's probably more work than I want to take on, especially with that rust. That's a lot of wire wheeling. Yeah. We might as well buy a big, badass welder. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> so these guys are working on a bunch of stuff with their boat. Here she is. Or does it come with all the stuff underneath the boat? We'll have to go find the ladder. Maggie May. I love the name. I love the boat. Maggie I love May. The holes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Al says. Not a pick one, I don't think. <laughs> Oh my god, it needs some work. <laughs> it is a 51 how, or it wouldn't have port lights on the transom. Well, fair enough. Ooh. That paint is kind of like bubbling off, but I think it's literally in the paint. Because I can see where it's sort of flipped up. I don't... Uh, I don't think that's D-Lam. I don't think that's D-Lam in the glass. Alright. It worked, though. It's not great. Film how I die. Oh God, we thought the Michelson had blisters. I think it's in the paint though. It looked like over there, it looked like the paint was like peeling off, but it didn't look like D-Lam in the glass, but I don't know. Does it look like it's in the glass there? It looks like we can make it work. Okay. Yeah, if you're super uncomfortable with the ladder, try to find another one. Go for fun, I'll sell it for money. Okay, so I made it up here some sort of miracle. I'm not even sure how. Okay, for, wait, hey, hold on. Alright, so the masks are painted. I'm not sure. I mean, canvas is definitely shot. I don't know about sales. Sales aren't looking great. Needs new rigging, that's for sure. Some woodwork. It's definitely bright work. Definitely, probably. What does it cost? Of course, some paint would be nice. <laughs> so I don't know this story because there's like a ton of this gear in here. Is there any dive tanks? No, I don't think so. This is the boat and the layout. There's a life raft. There's bronze lamp. There's. Yeah, I like this. I mean, this whole pilot house is just like the Michelson. Even up top. I mean, look. Oh, oh boy, I'm afraid of, oh boy. What'd you find? Oh. Oh, the pilot house got to come out. Oh my God, like all of it, look. Yeah, we got to cut the whole pilot house off of it. Oh yeah. I don't think it's that bad. So it's like a galley <laughs> down, I like that. Well, we got to cut the whole top off of it. You see the windows? Oh, I think that's probably fine. And then another <laughs> settee, that's not bad. That looks like it lays down too into a bed. Oh yep. no, I'm touching the outsider. All right. Stop touching it then. What What do you mean you're touching the outside? <laughs> look at these lamps. Oh my god, I want to buy this lamp. What lamp? Oh shit. These lamps, look how cool they are. Okay, yeah, you're right. Here we go. Cool. I'm just going to lay off. Oh wow. Yeah, this is lovely. In progress. That looks... Oh no, I just lost all respect from Hal. No, you still got it because you 
she wanted to be a diesel mechanic. <laughs> what did you say? I told him I was a diesel mechanic in progress. He's like, why don't you know what that part is called? I know, I didn't. I just said, I thought you said you were a diesel mechanic. I told you I make shit up all the time. Man. That was so rude. I don't even work here. So rude. <laughs> All right, we got the tub. It's a good looking head. I mean, I'm yeah. going to sell my house, my company, everything I own, and move to Caravel in the van. Yeah. <laughs> you just live right in front of it for the next five years while we fix it. Oh. Oh, wow. That's. Price of twenty five dollars. I know. I've got like three pairs. What? What happened here? Oh. Ah! Was there Jesus. a wrench? Oh boy. Was there a wrench? No. She said she was sick. She was gonna come get it. All right. How's on the phone now? Let's see what we got here. Oh. What, what now? Okay. So I guess this is a wet head. Uh, yeah, okay. Sinks out here. Kind of like that, though. The berth over here. Oh, a lot of rot. That's definitely been, been wet. Oh, man. Oh. All of that would have to come out. All the way down. Pretty much all of that. All this wood in here is rotten. All up top. And then... Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I want somebody to come... I want somebody to come save this boat, but I don't want it to be me. The captain's log from uh, yeah, December 1988 yeah, to April 1989. Long. Um, 1745 main blows out during a controlled jibe. Controlled should be in quotation marks. Jibe ho, shit! <laughs> I wonder what they did. I mean, this doesn't. This isn't wet. How is this not wet? It's the same thing. <laughs> wow. So she's had a she's had a life. Gregory yeah. Gooch. And there's a guy named Mechanic Mike. Homa Hawa, and his nickname is I'll Take Manhattan. <laughs> All right. Papa. Is that her? I think so, yeah. Wow, okay. Not a very good picture. So pretty much the entire pilot house is rotten. Even more rotten than the Michelson that we were looking at. that first step. Just jump. There you go. Sand the whole thing down. I'm back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's in there? I can't see. I can't see. Oh my god. She's precious. She's precious, Hal. We never get it running. Yeah. Running? What do you mean? We would never make it afloat. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh boy. Pilot berth. Uh um nav station. Um galley. <laughs> uh berth. That's it. 
just it's precious. It's so shaky. It's going to fall off these things. Stop rocking it. You're too much for it. Get down. No shit. My Get down. I was rocking it. Get down. Stop rocking the boat. What it, is it? Uh, it's, not up to Hal Specs. Uh, He's shaking I don't it. Fix anything He's else. shaking it, saying, It's shaking. <laughs> no, you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm saying that the boat is rocking on its stands and yeah, it's I about know. to fall over. Well, get off, off of it. Oh, wait, come up? Is that what you said? Yeah, come on. I just want to peek. She's so cute. I mean, it needs to be completely cut in butt. It's so cute. It's the one. Okay, I'm getting off. She's adorable. Or two. I'll find out what Gosh. it costs to take it over to the shop. What, this fella? Yeah. You want to really take it? Yeah, I want to. Well, you got to talk to Jake because he has taken all the parts that it looked valuable off of it and squirreled them away somewhere in his Jake hole. Jake hole. Uh huh. He's doing a survey in Appalachia. Plus, Vernon's already drinking beer, so that means it's going to be a short day of work here today. <laughs> So the hunt continues. Um, we talked to our friend Anderson who can restore wooden boats and he was not interested in the little boat. Um, it's totally the kind of project that I would love to take on. I just don't think it's wise. We have two Volkswagens, we have two other boats and we're trying to buy another. <laughs> um, I don't think it's the smartest decision to try to take on a wood boat on top of it all. I really don't. But please, if anyone is interested in rescuing that boat, just let me know and I'll put you in touch. Um, I'd love to see someone restore it. And I'm pretty sure at this point they would just give it away. I think they just want stuff out of that shipyard. Um, as far as the Formosa goes, I don't think that we want anything that's that big of a project. We don't mind a project boat, but I mean, boats are always projects, but that's a little bit much for us. Um, I'd, again, with that one, if anyone's interested, like, let me know, I'll put you in touch, but I don't really want to rip out all of the wood interior and replace it. And that's what we would have to do with that one. Um, yeah, that's just not, we don't want years in boat restoration and, and that's what that one would be, I'm afraid. So we're going to continue looking. We're going to go to Central Florida and, and see what's there. And um, hopefully there's something out there. You know, there's some other stuff on the market that's not very expensive. Um, you know, usually when they're not very expensive, it kind of makes you wonder what's going on with them. But we'll see. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.